Hi there and welcome to One Site TV. My name's Dan Harris and today I'll be taking you for a little bit more advanced reporting. Uh, we'll be using a report service in our station. Uh, you probably remember the station from previous videos where I've got a lot of pseudo fan call units I've got already made with data going through it. So let me just get us started by going into our services and showing just what you need here. You need the report service. You get that from your palette, your report palette. You just drag and drop that into our services. Just gonna go there. Now, I'm, we'll go through a couple more features in a few videos time, but today I'll be looking at the, the component grid. Now, if you remember on our report PX, is a very quick and easy way to use a BQL query to go get data. Now, what that does though, it takes a snapshot. It doesn't send the points out to subscribe. So you're not actually getting true live data. And that's probably not gonna be very good if you can start using it for things like a live meeting and fan call units and commissioning. So as I say, you could use it for that, but if you're looking at the points all the time, because they will go and subscribe, but if you're using it with actually referencing any of the points live on your screen, you won't get up to the minute data. This changes it slightly. So what I'm going to do is just go into our component grid here. I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to call this fan call units. Double click into there. And pretty much nothing really happening there. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go down to my AX property sheet. The template, I'm going to actually aim this of where I want it to look at. So I actually wanted to look at within my software folder and now I'm gonna run up a query here. Let me just click on there. I'm gonna let this run over my whole station. It knows that it's looking at software area as a template. I'm just gonna make it look for folders. I'm gonna look for the most common thing, which is our folders, which are named like with the wildcard fan core units. Okay, so that's the first part of it done. And then we just click on that and see what data we get back. We don't get any whatsoever. So I'm now gonna drop this down to our grid editor. You can see that's a bit like what we had on the PX sheet earlier, but now we're looking at it in a slightly different format. Yeah, so our grid editor sent us where we're looking, what we're looking for, and here is where we start adding our columns. I'm just gonna add one here. I'm just gonna call this fan call unit. Our slot, I'm just gonna keep empty because it's actually already be pointing at the fan call unit folder. And I add another column. I'm gonna call this space temp i'm going to copy that and a bit like uh, relativization i'm just going to punch that in there because the actual bql query will take us to the folder this resides underneath it and go for out value add another one let's call this cooling coil Okay, so that's some data was just in there. Oh, I've just got this from our folders. If we look down our folders here, if I expand that, we've got things like space temp, fan enable, etc. We've just got some data. So I'll just say, kind of quickly so you can see how quick and easy this was. I'm just going to save this and just go into it. As you can see, we've got our fan units, our space temp, and our cooling coil. I'm going to go a bit further into this. I'm going to change our cooling coil to our heating valve. Save that again. This time I'm actually going to go look at it in a nice grid table. See, it comes out very neatly and concisely, easy to see. And as you can see, it actually highlights. We can see data change as we go along. A really another handy feature of this actually report, this actually component grid within our port service that I can actually even override values with it. And if I double click, it'll actually go to the folder where we actually got that data from. So hopefully that's making a little bit of sense. So it's a very quick and easy way. I'll be doing a couple more things with the report service later on. If you're liking our videos, please like them. Also subscribe if you've got any questions or if you've got any ideas or videos you would like to see, feel free to leave them below. Have a look at some of our other videos. They're really good, especially if you're just starting out in Niagara. And as I say, there's some lot of stuff there is really good for you more advanced guys. Okay, speak to you soon. Good luck, bye.